Hey, welcome to my channel, Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut. Wingnut, <laughs> Wingnut, Wingnut, get it right. Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of Eastern Utah. This video is part one in a five part series that I'm dedicating to killing insects and the five killers that I love. And I wanna introduce you to those killers. I think when I introduce you to them, they'll become your best friends. Watch this to the end because I'm gonna give you some tips in the end that I don't show in other videos, like how to turn your garden plants and your uh, ornamental plants into killers and make them still 100% safe for humans. Yeah, watch to the end. All right, let's get on with it. going to talk about flying, crawling, and biting insects, and how to kill them. This list includes, but is not limited to, house flies, biting flies, including horse flies, gnats, mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, bed bugs, roaches, ants, spiders, scorpions, chiggers, mites, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. This video is going to have five parts, each dealing with many different aspects of killing insects. We'll be right back. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the notify button so that you know when I release new videos. Please understand that this is what I do. I'm letting you be a fly on the wall and watch and learn from somebody who's been around the park a few times, but everything in life requires that you take a personal initiative and use common sense in all that you do. So if you don't like what I do, that's no problem. Nobody's gluing your eyes to the screen. Just click away. If you do continue to watch, please use your common sense and figure out a way that it'll work for you. Just don't do it if it's against your personal views or ethics. Think before you act. You don't need to lecture me and the other flies on the wall here on why you personally think it's wrong. We don't care. Please keep that to yourself and we'll all have a wonderful time. So to start with, we're gonna talk about one element three chemicals, one food source, and they are going to become your best friends when it comes to killing insects. The first killer on my list is boric acid. Boric acid is a phenomenal insecticide. I have another video called A Simple Lecture on Boric Acid that'll give you all you need to know about it. So here's a link to that, and I'll put it in the description. I'm not gonna talk much more about boric acid here. I do have other videos that teach you how to use boric acid to kill wise, wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets, and ants, so I won't cover that here either. I'll put the link up there and uh, in my description. The second and third killers on my list are diatomaceous earth and cornmeal. And the fourth and fifth killers on my list are really one and the same. One is natural and one is synthesized or man-made. They both work identically the same. Pyrethrins come from an old genus of plant called pyrethrins, now classified as chrysanthemums. All of the flowers in the chrysanthemum family produce the chemical pyrethrin. Pyrethrin is 100% deadly on contact to any insect, and it can also harm fish. It immediately closes the insect's breathing pores and they suffocate quickly. Permethrin is the man-made synthesized molecule and it's 100% as deadly. It's commercially made and very, very readily available. It comes in aerosol cans of many sizes. It comes in eight ounce mini jugs, 32 ounce quart jugs, concentrate, and bigger if you need a ton of it. Just search the internet for pyrethrins and you'll find plenty. And refer to the instruction part of this video for more information about pyrethrins. One note, while you're traveling, you might find little four ounce cans of this in airport lounges and stores. It's the only insecticide that California allows in open food preparation areas like dairy milking parlors, 
broiler houses, cage milk layer houses, canneries, beverage processing plants, open food processing facilities, like bakeries and restaurants. In fact, at the time of this recording, it's legal for these uses in all 50 states and most likely all around the world. It's totally toxic to insects and totally non-toxic to mammals. Again, this is totally safe for humans and other mammals and absolutely deadly for insects. Special note here, if you have ornamental or garden plants and the pests are bugging you and you just don't know what to do, you can make your plants deadly to the insects with this. Okay, what do I do? I treat my plants with pyrethrins like this. If you go to the plant nursery or hardware store or search the internet, you can find insect control permethrin for plants in these 32 ounce jugs just as well. Now, when I use it on ornamental or garden plants, I, I use a quarter of the normal amount I'll show you in a moment that I use for insects around the house, as too much commercial water-soluble permectrin can harm delicate plants. The recipe is in the description. This will kill any insect already on a plant and any insect that gets on the plant in the next 30 days, including ants, aphids, caterpillars, flies, beetles, etc. Caution! This will kill honeybees, ladybugs, praying mantises, and other beneficial insects as well. If they touch it, they're goners. So, if that's a concern, don't use it. Here again, use your common sense. I test this on one plant or a few leaves prior to applying it to everything, as commercial permectrin, water-soluble oil, can harm plants in too high of a concentration. I leave it for a few days to see if it's going to survive, or if the leaves drop off. If the leaves go yellow and die or drop off, you got too much concentration of permectrin for that species of plant. Also, if you use this on edible plants, be sure to wash them thoroughly after you harvest them so that you get the residual off. It may not harm you, but err on the side of caution. Commercial produce growers, especially lettuce producers, use pyrethrins for leaf insect control. So you're not out of bounds here. Just wash everything before eating it because uh, it doesn't taste good sometimes. All right, enough of the boring details. Let's get to the next video, part two, and start killing some insect pests.